as Count Cola and Kate Earl Chase, I'd like to wish you, Count Cola, and every member of this house, a happy, holy, and a peaceful Christmas. Uh, I'd re remind this, if it was later in the evening, and we went down the round room or somewhere, I'd say this is more like landing in the ball. I stepped out and you stepped in again, and I stepped out and we had a landing in the ball. But the people of Ireland have questions they want to answer. I've spoken here on many occasions and mentioned powerful globalist forces who are having a huge impact on the way our country is being run. Probably the most powerful of all these globalist organisations is the World Economic Forum, or WEF as it's known, which are based in Geneva, Switzerland, and which is fronted by an individual named Klaus Swab. And this man, uh, Mr. Swab, has written many controversial books about how he believes the world should be governed, including the Fourth Industrial Re Revolution, stakeholder capitalism, and COVID-19, the Great Reset. Could I get some silence? He, he, has, he has written and spoken openly about what he calls the Great Reset. He describes it as an opportunity to reset our world, to create a healthy, uh, healthier and more equitable and more prosperous Europe and a future. Uh, this sounds fantastic initially, but on, on, on closer um, examination with, of this cabal, which I call him, it's strange. One of his most famous quotes from 2016 gives us a little insight. He says, and I quote, by 2030 you will own nothing and be happy about it. He also quoted as saying, the sovereign state has become obsolete. I remember some of you, two top people here, saying this about our sovereignty recently as well. He speaks about a system, a, a, a system called stakeholder capitalism, which he and the WEF see as a replacement for the current financial system, uh, shareholder capitalism. This system is quoted on the WEF website, is one, of, uh, the, uh, uh, is one where governments, uh, business and individual, individuals collaborate. It's a system which would see corporations, wealthy, powerful uh, elites, and citizens being given equal uh, take in the running of their countries. This sounds very like the same, uh, what was uh, Italian fascist dictator uh, Mussolini described as corporate state. In fact, thus, uh, this sounds the very same as Mussolini's very definition of fascism, when he said, and I quote, fascism is equal to, to uh, corporationism uh, because it's a merger of state and corporate power. This all might sound like some sort of uh, conspiracy, and I wish it was, but it is not. Where am I good? All right, we'll see who will have the last laugh. Uh, God, uh, Santi might come to you. Right. It, it also, it also, it's not, thank God, no. Thank God. If I could, without with your permission, I can call them. There's certain things we can't discuss in this chamber anymore because you're shouted down. Yeah, we, we know that. This, this is all my, as I said, we have several books from Mr. Swab, and I will quote again from Mr. Swab at the end of the, uh, from the World Economic Forum, where he says he's very proud of most of these young generation, the Prime Minister of uh, Trudeau and President of Argentina, and so on. It is that when he, uh, he also, and I quote him, is that we penetrated the cabinets. And yesterday, and this is from his quote in 2016, I was at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau, and I would know that half of his cabinet, or even more than half of the cabinet, are actually young global leaders and the World, and the world Economic Forum. Now, teacher, this brings me to the number of the question. Now, teacher, uh, teacher, collect. Teacher, thank you. Well, yeah, well, okay, funny. You, you, one of the same, I said, I stepped out and you stepped in again. If, if it's going, if, it's on the government website right now. If anyone wants to look it up, you will see that uh, the website is being touted as the WF's Young Global Leaders. And can you explain to me and to the people of Ireland, if not people here that want to hear it, uh, why are you a Young Globalist Leader of the organisation which is obviously looking to destroy, uh, the, uh, destroy the power of the people and destroying our democracy? And you're listed on that, and it's just funny, all right. Why a young, young Globus leader of an organisation that, that um, sets out uh, to take and destroy our sovereignty and sovereignty of other countries as well? And can you explain to the Irish people how you, uh, your position as Taoiseach uh, will, uh, will uh, endure and how it does, doesn't present a conflict of interest? Because I believe it does. And uh, can I tell you that the Irish people and can also and individuals are very, very uh, worried about this? 
You might want to know about it, but they are worried about it. And it's WEF members are there any other supporters. I did speak to one of your ministers to be today during the week, and he told me it was a great organisation. There was nothing wrong with it. So I rest my case just to point out that I will not be voting for you, Taoiseach, today. Good morning.